Remember, please leave enough braking distance between you and the moon or body in front of you. Crashing costs Kerbal lives. Hello guys, I'm Orbeta, your Welsh engineer, and welcome to Kerbal Quest! Series 2, part 17, building a moon base test thing and stuff. Yeah, I'll get into that. Okay, let's go for the first launch. And yes, we are going to the moon. And unlike the other Kerbal Quest uh, episodes, as you may not have known, or you may know, you may have watched the last episode, we're having problems with gravity. And also, the reminder, if you want to be a Kerbal, don't for forget to write Kerbal in your comments so I can filter out the search results and everything else. Because in this series, I read out your comments and I also send your Kerbals on death-defying missions. Anyway, let's get this thing into orbit. Yes, it seems a bit of a hefty rocket to get this into orbit, just to the man. But however, we're carrying a big load of, of something, and you're obviously it's going to be a man base. That's why I titled the video Man Base. And there's no Kerbals board on this one because I thought I'd deliver the materials first. But let's get into that. I've created a new Kerbal Space Program game. I didn't create it, obviously, but what I did do is I added all the mods and stuff that I want, not the ones that break the galaxy. And I'm going to take your suggestions on what we can. A couple of suggestions on the last video has been handed to me, which is quite cool. But I want the game to be a bit more stable because I'm always a big thing of the game crashing. And I have to hyper to edit another craft in again so I can catch up on the video and stuff. Yes, I do cheat, but normally it's the game breaking cheats. The game cheats and breaks itself, so then I have to cheat to break the game. No, that doesn't work. What are you on about? <laughs> anyway, what I'm on about is I don't want to keep on having to hyper edit everything in. So I'm going to try to make this series a bit better and a bit shorter because obviously summer's coming. So I have less time to do all this stuff. Anyway, while we're mulling over that, your ideas would be helpful. Perhaps we can do a simple mission. Perhaps we can choose a planet and or perhaps we can do a Kerbal War. I don't know yet. Suggestions, don't forget Kerbal Quest doesn't have to be stuck to send your Kerbals on a mission to land on a planet and then quickly go into another lot of Kerbals. Perhaps we can have a Kerbal War that way. Um, everybody's involved. I have ideas for the Kerbal War, so I think I might be doing that in any case, whether we do this for the series. Anyway, as I said, I always read the comments out as well. From Ka Sa oh, is it Kais Seagal. Kais Seagal. You're uh... <laughs> Are you a relative of Steven Seagal? Uh, obviously not, because it's spelled differently. <laughs> but if you're a seagull, that'll be cool. That'll, that'll be awesome. Anyway, coming in for a landing. Anyway, this comic was 6,666 subscribers. That is awesome. Yeah, I missed the point when I had 6,666 subscribers. I would have done a video on that otherwise, because that would be been certainly funny. Anyway, here we are coming down, and I realize we don't have enough fuel. Last minute burn. Will the payload survive? Oh no, half of it's been destroyed. But you have to love that litho breaking. By the way, lithosphere is the ground. So litho breaking is basically when you fall on your ass. That's litho breaking for you, because you're stopping your motion by something solid. And only one thing survived. And in any case, I decided to launch another one here. I added extra fuel to the boosters that sent it in orbit, and you can see an extra fuel tank on that. So awesome stuff. And we just at 729 meters per second. I can't remember. I know I came into problems. I'm not sure if it was my piloting skills that were lacking here. But I have to say, normally I I won't use Mechjeb for landing. I always enjoy doing the landing myself. I use Mechjeb for launching because that can be a bit tedious with huge rockets which go weirdly out of control. And you can see a bit of graphical glitch in one of the craters there. Aliens, say. It's aliens, roar. <laughs> no. Anyway, let's get into the, the comment from the football gamer. Send me to the, the, the deadliest planets and stars, because I'm a daredevil. Well, it seems that these planets, even the man, can be the deadliest. Depend on how you say deadliest. That's another thing I thought of for the Kerbal Quest series. Perhaps we could go and exploring curving itself. You know, I can get into jet planes or supersonic flight speed thingy-majiggies and other stuff and things like that. 
new stunts and have fun doing that. I don't know. Suggestions, that's just another idea of what we could do. Someone really says fast warp. <laughs> yes, I used the warp mod in the last episode. That's because the star distance was so fast that even there I had to use hyper edit, so the warp wasn't that fast. It's just that some of the plants, for the same reason, didn't have any gravity. So we won't be using that save again. Anyway, Balazas, I would love to be a Kerbal. A Balaz. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes, you will be Kerbal, don't worry. A Croft Flock Windsor. Oh no! Let get. Let get you a bottle of water for that cough. Also, in Stella Chocolates. Here I come. Lastly, if the whole To Boldly Go mod doesn't work, then my suggestion is Unforgiving Real, Real Solar System mod. Warning though, it's a proper challenge at first. Though, let's be honest, Jupiter's chocolates are the best. Well, let's keep... Well, keep up the great work. Love ya. Warning, love ya is hereby copyrighted by my as my intro. Or outro, sorry. By Akrov Lof Lof Wenzer. And I'm hurrying that comment out because I'm realizing I'm coming for the landing and I want to watch this bit because I remember. This is where I messed up. I'm trying to go slow. I think where I did here, I was... Cutting my velocity down too much at this point, and I should have gone a bit faster down towards the ground, and then used the fuel for the last braking, because we hit the ground. We've done some little braking. However, although the probe core was destroyed on top, the building block survived, and that's all I really wanted from this launch, this mission. Now let's go and send the Kerbals. On this mission, we have. The best gamer ever. Kai Siegel, Kutch Chen Chenazer, Willy Wonker 707, Elf Elfgar Whitebeard, and Zetron. Yes, these are the Kerbals I have chosen for this mission for one particular reason. To try something out. Yeah, this was an idea I had, and the reason why I'm sending these Kerbals is to build a base, but in a different way. They're not going to be living in that base that we just landed. And by the way, if you're wondering where's your bios, I'll be reading them up later. I post-edited this, so there'll be a chance when you're EVAing that I'll read that out. Anyway, first things first, we do have to land these Kerbals, because if they die, this story's not going to matter to us. We'll just send more Kerbals up there. You're disposable. <laughs> Obviously not, don't worry. If your Kerbal ever dies in this series, I do respawn them. Um, you know, a couple of episodes later, because I've had over 170 Kerb people ask me individually to add the Kerbals. Now, that is crazy over the course. And this is not counting Kerbal Quest, the first series, or Mining the Man. I think I added a few people on Mining the Man. I can't remember. Anyway, let's get ahead and land this. And I do use Mech Jab for... Because I've targeted the Crafter. Now, if I keep quickly bring up Mechjib here, it's got a landing guidance. I'm not using the automatic landing pilot, but you can see target difference is going down as I'm boosting. Now, I'm overshooting the target, and that was because when you boost to slow down, that way, as you can see, we get closer to the target from the target difference on the landing guidance. And if you target, you know, if you boost to the orbit directly to your target, you're going to undershoot it. So that's a thing to keep in mind. Yes, I have done this without mech gem before, but it's a lot harder. The mech gem makes it a lot easier, because I've done it before and I've set a couple of kilometers out. With this, though, you can be very close, with a hundred meters or so, if you get your landing technique down. Anyway, while we're trying to get as close as possible to these guys, let's read out another comment from Left Waffle, the Waffle Guy. Do you have any contracts with NSA? How did you know I enjoy pancakes? My reply was, well, elementary, elementary, my dear Waffle. Your name is Waffle. It is which is similar to Waffle. Therefore, it's close to syrup. So what does syrup have in common? You guessed it, maple syrup. Maple syrup comes from Canada. And where is Canada? Next to the ocean. And where's what's under the ocean? More water is under the ocean. And what happens to water if it freezes? It becomes ice. What lives in the on the ice? Penguins. So there you have it, penguins live on the ice. 
and you love pancakes. That's awesome. I didn't know that. I mean, that was a lucky guess. <laughs> that was my reply to him. I thought it was funny <laughs> at the time I wrote it. From Gian the Rathgeb. Oh, we've landed. He says, I want to be a Kerbal named a bow crafter. It's nice when I can be on a cur on Duna. Or eel nice video. Elu has a nice video? Oh, <laughs> no problem. Anyway, the best gamer ever. He's the best gamer ever. In all universes, everywhere. In all places and dimensions. It says it's in his name, so it must be true. Next up, we have Sai Seagal. He must be related to Steven Seagal. And he's on this mission, looking for terrorists to counter them and be an awesome hero like everyone else, every other Kerbal. Now we have Kutchenezer, Kuch I'm not sure if it's someone famous, but I think he is famous because he's going to be helping me build this Dunar base, but he's an awesome engineer. We have Willy Wonka 707, man, we went through so many Willy Wonkas, he's bringing, <laughs> with his funny, he's bringing his funny walk and his chocolates on this mission. Now we have Al Alfargar Whitebeard. He is an awesome Viking. He is the space Viking of all space and time. Now we have Zitron, Kerman. And I have no idea about Zitron. I think I downloaded him off a server or something. I think he's here to protect my system from viruses or infiltrate the system people or something. Anyway, these Kerbals. And starting with Zitron, he's gonna take this base stuff apart. And you guessed it. Hopefully we can take this apart. Well, I don't know if you guessed it, but I'm hopefully you get it. We're gonna take this apart and we're gonna try to see if we can build a base from all these parts. Luckily, normally when I do this, things start exploding as soon as they hit the ground. Luckily, it has not, which is awesome. Okay, take it apart. Take it away, Zitron. As we read out some more comments. From Cry for All UT. Can I be a Kerbal? I would like to be named Dr. Yun. Thank you. Love the videos. No problem. Fingerber. Nice view. Thank you very much. I saw so many say that. <laughs> Feeds my ego. But not that I have an ego. No, no, I don't have an ego. <laughs> Of course not. Hansel 74 video says, Can I add a Kerbal? His name is Hansel 74, please. Yes, I don't worry, Hansel will be there. And don't forget, I won't forget the 74. I copy and paste the names. The best gamer ever, which is the best gamer ever, says, What mode are you using for those rockets? Not the stock ones or the what ones, the ones at the bottom of the ship. Oh, yes, those were the ones where you can change the mode so that you can have super fast, awesome nice engines. Super hybrid mode, which means it uses a high, a lot of electricity as well as oxygen and fuel, oxidizer and fuel, to make it much more efficient. However, a very low thrust to weight ratio. And I think, you know, it's close cycle for the normal use of the rocket. And then the other one was, uh, yeah, hybrid cycle, I think. I can't remember, but you need a lot of electricity for that one. So if you'd get it, it's part of the KW Rock 3 HX pack, I think. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I install these mods through CCAN, so then I forget which mods had which parts. Which is annoying, if you think about it. Anyway, one thing I have to note with this building here. I had to edit the Kerbals so they could lift more than five, uh, one ton. Yes, they can lift one ton, apparently, but uh, I had to edit them, otherwise they would not be able to build a space. Look at that house, it's awesome stuff. Anyway, from Vlaps Fox, Helm, what one, engage, also Doctor Who reference. <laughs> yes, I know, I love my sci-fi. <laughs> Alex Public says using hyper-edit is a bit unpleasantly, but I still like it. No problem, I had to, there's no way around it last time. Let's see, we got Peter McGreet. What mod is that futuristic stuff? I would love to know. Also, thanks for adding me as a Kerbal. Not sure if I'm in this one, but I'm going to watch it anyway. I think you were in the last episode, which is awesome. 
because you commented you didn't know if you were in that episode, and you were. Oh yes, and also, yes, I'm using infinite fuel for this because I really just didn't have enough fuel. And I was just testing the landing system on this. I hyperdated this into orbit to land it. This is just testing, by the way. I, you know, I lo obviously launched the rockets, the kerbals all the way to it, on to this base to build it as a test to see what we could do with this stuff. Can we build a base? Do you want us to carry on doing that or not? Let me know in the comments below. Let's read some more comments out. To Jing De Jong, can you make me a Kerbal please? Also love your videos. No problem. I think I did add you to Kerbal. I'm not sure. I think I did in the last uh, Kerbal Quest series. Not sure if I did in this one. But don't worry, I'll make sure you get in it again. Caleb Malton. Hello, Orbita. You are amazing. You deserve so much more subscribers. <laughs> Can I be Kerbal? Thanks so much. I don't care where you take me. Just add me as a Kerbal and keep up the good work. Yes, don't worry. I did see your other comment as well saying, Hey, Orbita, I'm not sure if you saw my last comment. Yes, I did, actually. It's just that I didn't have time to respond. But now I'm responding in a video. Don't worry. You will be added as a Kerbal. Uh, oh yeah, you wanted your name to be Jean-Luc Picard, okay, yes. Mr. Carr says, please add me as a Kerbal called Einstein Kerman, and don't kill it very fast. Maybe he could go to another star. Unfortunately, the star extra star mods doesn't work quite well, so I might not use that. I might use another planet mod pack, which adds planets to the Kerbin system. But suggestions, please. I'm not sure about real solar system, because I'm... Re Realize it's a bit buggy, but I'll might give her a test off camera to see if it is or not. Just let me know in the comments below. And I'll read one more comment off. Uh, oh no, Razarav FDH. Can you you can use constellation plans pack, but then you need real re real solar system mod. Yes, there's a possibility. And you can see why I put the rover here. It can carry the parts over to the base. We'll have another two Kerbals then, because it takes two Kerbals to build, pick up one of those big concrete things on the moon, man. And then we can build the base that way. By the way, each Kerbal I've edited now can lift 10 tons. Yes, they are strong Kerbals. They've been working out. And last comment, Mr. Tater Tot. Tater Tot. I like Tater Tot. Mr. Tater Tot. Where did you get the B9 Aerospace? It's not the right version on Cursed, and the one GitHub isn't the right one. Please help. Thanks, I like your videos. Oh yes, I'll probably respond to this one as well. But, um, I use CCAN, so if you got CCAN, if you search it out, it's not all done on the many mod sites, so search KSP CCAN. You should be able to download the latest version. Put it in the same folder as KSP if you're on the PC. I think Mac has a no, Mac or Linux. I'm not sure if they have CCAN, but it's awesome because it automatically updates the mods. Uh, not automatically updates, but automatically searches for the latest version of the modders that have the CCAN availability. Then you can download the latest ones, and it tells you which ones are compatible. Anyway, if you want to be Kerbal, don't forget to write Kerbal in proper word letters like, like I have. And let me know what we need to do with the next lot of the series. Anyway, if you like this video, crank that like button like an engineer. And all I can say here is this place, this base is looking awesome. That house is brilliant. All we need is a, a garage and the awesome stuff. Anyway, I'm Orbiter. Trust me, I'm an engineer. I'm Peace Girl Scouts. Wait, no, let's pause and pause saying. Hmm.